Hi friends, I am Manoj. Welcome back to another session of SAP HT. In this session, we will discuss about the BP migration. So I will show you how to migrate customer to business partner in Brownfield implementation project. So in S4 HANA project, in S4 HANA project, we will discuss about three types of project. First one is Brownfield implementation, Greenfield implementation, then Bluefield implementation project. So migration from customer to bp is the part of migration project so first we'll start with migration project so what is migration project we have to migrate uh, client business process from ecc system to s4 hana system which is nothing but our migration project or we call it as brownfield implementation project okay so in migration project what are the activity we have to perform so first step uh, basis consultant uh, first step technical consultant will take data from production server to sandbox then they will apply the base uh, apply the sap nodes for uh, migration as for hana migration so for our case our ecc system is already ready for the migration we have uh, uh, replicate all the data from production to sandbox and basis consultant already applied sap nodes thereafter we have to do the pre-migration configuration so what are the pre-migration configuration uh, we have uh, done? So first step we have to first step we have taken all the account groups and number interval of customer master which are in used. So how we have taken we have taken it from KNA1 table. Then second step we have done the configuration for uh, activation BP. Then next we have to uh, do uh, define BP roles. Thereafter. <coughs> define bp number ranges assign customer account group to bp groupings assign customer account group to bp roles then uh, we have done uh, bp configuration for direction uh, customer to bp after all configuration pre migration configuration we have to execute two reports one is run upgradation check report run 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 upgradation check report what it will do it will check the bp configuration if BP configuration is okay, then there is no error. We will not get any error. If we have any error uh, in BP configuration, then we have to do the configuration. Second step, we have to run simplification item check report. So here, it will uh, if we we'll execute this report, then we can uh, see your system will display list of errors related to all other core modules. If any errors, so here we are having. Uh, return code if any error having return code more than seven then we have to resolve that error if will not resolve then system will not allow to go for the technical migration if any return code is less than seven then we can ignore this if you will even if it will not resolve that error system will allow to go for the technical migration technical team will migrate the system okay so the next step is convert all customer to bp so what are the precondition to convert all customer to business partner first our system should be ready for migration thereafter we have to do the, we have to do the pre migration configuration for me i have completed pre migration configuration so next video i will show you what are the pre migration configuration we have to migrate customer to bp then next step if we are having uh, contact person then we have to go field mapping for contact person after that we have to migrate contact person so here our main role is what we have to do the pre-migration configuration convert all customer to business partner then field mapping thereafter we have to <coughs> migrate the contact person then if everything is fine if we have successfully migrated con contact person customer master to business partner uh, vendor master to business partner contact person to business partner then what we will do uh, then we'll inform to technical team to go for the technical migration okay so technical migration ABAP and basis both technical consultant is responsible to go for the technical migration so when they will do technical migration all configuration all enhancement all customization will be moved from ECC system to S4 HANA system thereafter all master data and transitional data will be available in S4 HANA system okay then we have to do the post migration configuration 
what are the post migration configuration we have to do for business partner bp configuration for direction bp to customer in pre migration we have done bp configuration for direction customer to bp post migration we have to do uh, bp configuration for direction business partner to customer then we have to do the credit management configuration we have to migrate credit master then we have to migrate condition master or pricing master thereafter we have to do some post migration activity in s for hana system in migration project make ecc system ready for migration bp activation step completed for us bp uh, sorry pre migration configuration for business partner already we have completed in this session we will focus how to convert how to migrate customer and vendor to business partner in this session i will show you how to convert customer to business partner so here first step make ecc system ready for migration so what we have done technical team they have replicate all production data to sandbox thereafter they have uh, they have uh, applied uh, sap nodes so our system is already applied sap nodes so our system is ready for migration thereafter what i have done i have done the bp activation steps thereafter i have started pre migration configuration for business partner so these three steps are already completed in the back end now i will show you how to convert all customers and vendors to business partner so bp approach so here bp approach as for the client requirement <clears throat> their requirement is what customer number and business partner number should be same so whatever the implementation we have done 7 to 8 implementation project we have completed so for 7 8 projects their requirement were customer equal to bp number and this so here customer number equal to bp number and this based on that we have configured so what are the data we have captured first we'll discuss first we have created one account group that account our account group is qt01 for qt01 we have created 10 customers we have created 10 customer so after migration we have to check but triple zero that is business partner table then we have to customer and uh, business partner link table then we have to see is there any difference difference means all customers are migrated to business partner or not so these three tables will uh, see after migration <clears throat> so here account group which i have used account group is qt01 that is for sold to party number interval i have created a number interval qt starting number from 9000301 to 9000401 so here in number interval it is unchecked it is blank then for uh, business partner <coughs> i have created grouping grouping is qt01 and number interval is qt so from number is same so as customer number and vendor number sorry customer number and business partner number same so external has been checked in business partner number ranges so i will show you <coughs> number ranges for customer master xt n1 so number interval i have created qt i have created qt so qt number interval is from n2 so i have created 10 customer here now i will go to business partner number ranges transaction code is b here Extension code for business partner number is BOCP CF. So here also I have taken interval as QT only. So scroll down. So scroll up. So QT, where is QT? This is QT. So I have checked internal, external here because same number. Okay. Then here I have created 10 customer. So this is the customer number 9001 to 9010. So here I will show you the migration. How to migrate customer to business partner. So transaction code for customer to business partner is MDS underscore load underscore cockpit. So transaction code to migrate customer to business is MDS underscore load underscore cockpit. So I will execute the transaction code MDS underscore load underscore cockpit here we have to select here we have to select customer and business partner third one we have to convert from customer to business partner so click customer to business partner 
then scroll down here we have to field name so i'll 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 migrate uh, one by one customer okay so here i have to select field name is kunar then i'll specify select specified value option single value here we have to give the customer number here we have to give the customer number so first customer number is nine triple zero three zero one so give the customer num number nine triple zero three zero one so if i'll <coughs> migrate if i'll migrate here then bp will be created automatically so before migration i will show you whether bp has been created or not give this number this number bp has not been created okay enter <coughs> there is no bp zero bp found when i will migrate it when i will migrate it bp will be created immediately with this same number so execute click on execute <coughs> so data successfully transferred to background processing now click on monitor now here we have to click on monitor and if you are doing migration then you have to go to queue then click register and activate queue so first time only you have to do one time activity okay now we'll go to bp transaction code and we'll check whether bp has been created or not go to bp now give the customer number so customer number and bp number should be same enter now customer uh, converted to business partner so double click on this here if you'll give uh, your uh, bp role then all data will be over here go to sales and distribution sales and distribution data will be there so this is sd business partner sorry bp role rtcu double uh, rtcu01 i have created for st rtcu00 for fi you will get the company code data so one customer successfully migrated from customer to bp so if you want to check the check-in table then you can check it now go to uh, now go to <coughs> table sc16n in sc16n table for uh, business partner is but triple zero one but sorry but triple zero but triple zero so if you pass the grouping then you will get your customer number what was our grouping go back our grouping is qt01 so if i'll pass qt01 here then i'll get one customer one sorry one business partner get the number of entries one business partner converted to one customer master converted to business partner if you execute then you'll get the business partner number over here okay so now i'll now i'll migrate all customers go to processing so here if i'll give account group here if i'll give the account group qt01 is account group then all the customers will be migrated to business partner for this account group so for this account group i have created 10 account group 10 customer master so 10 customer will be migrated to business partner execute so data successfully transferred to background processing go to monitor so it's successfully first now we'll go to but triple zero it will refresh then here you will get the number of entries as 10 so if you click on this number of entries 10 so 10 customers successfully migrated to uh, business partner okay business partner so you'll we'll execute this you'll get all business partner your 10 business partners are migrated here so here we will go to ppt's then all 10 go back all 10 here beauty triple zero 10 so all 10 customers converted to business partner then if you we'll go to cvi link table customer cvi link table we are having link between customer and business partner here okay here we are having customer and business partner so here if you'll pass guid code if you'll pass guid code then we'll get this is the table for a customer and vendor link cvi underscore customer underscore cost underscore link so if i'll pass if i'll pass 
gu id number then i will get the customer code here so where i got this gu id code i got gu id code from business partner but triple zero table okay so now these are the customers so this is the link between customer and customer and business partner <clears throat> so if we are having any discrepancy in numbers customer and bp number then we have to execute the report go to sa 38 so that is get get customer underscore link underscore check underscore report it will execute this so uncheck this test mode so there is no inconsistency on customer master and business partner so we have successfully migrated from customer to business partner okay so here we have successfully migrated from customer to business partner all customer move to business partner so guys if you have any questions any doubts then you text me i'll reply on this if you have not yet subscribed our channel then please do subscribe our channel to get the notification for upcoming sessions and hit the bell icon to get notification for upcoming sessions so guys thank you so much for watching this session